aligning ourselves with powerful benefit, with our power, that is, has complete mastery, that is inseparable from all these data streams, that becomes more and more obvious in our experience. Like we hear that, the inseparability, like the color blue in the sky, that really everything is just completely perfect as it is, that we don't have to fix anything, like we fix the microphones, but we don't have to fix anything about all our data streams. <coughs> we can leave them as they are, and they reveal tremendous power. Because if we fix ourselves and try to control our data streams, we limit our power, we disempower ourselves, we, 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 we lose the spontaneity of powerful, beneficial energy that, that all these data are. So that is seeing that and then seeing that come about in our own experience, totally alive, where we see, wow, everything about us is just completely perfect, even if we don't like it like the grumpiness and not liking to go into the breakfast hall when there are so many people, and maybe feeling uh, scared, awkward, not knowing what to say, or, or maybe we are totally fine, but whatever it is, letting that be as it is and seeing our power, affirming our power, like moment by moment, just one moment at a time, really, we can see what the results are because we see it all around and sometimes we think we are not included, but that's also just a normal thought. So we let that flow on by as well. And then we see the results here. Like it was just the perfect joy to be this morning here setting up. Well, I was setting up this microphone to the ear and <coughs> everybody was just making the space so beautiful with such care and love and then seeing that in the cafe and then you just walk around and you just see it in every corner so we are demonstrating here what is possible like we are inexhaustible totally inexhaustible our power is inexhaustible our potency our beneficial potency inexhaustible and we are just being reminded about that because we completely forgot we just ignored that power by emphasizing data streams and limiting ourselves. So it's a very even logical, and then we test it like a scientist in our own experience, like step by step, and see. We st it is very, very uh, empowering to see other people around us doing the same, relying on the four mainstays and seeing the effects, and then we share it with each other. Mm. And we know, okay, we can do it too, even if we think we can't, but we, we, we almost like the ship that is turning. We can't even go against. We, it, we just are seep, swept up in that power by coming here. So it's such a, it's, um, it's a wise <coughs> choice to come here and to be immersed with all the four mainstays and with, uh, with, uh, with other people who are choosing the same, mm -hmm. choosing to not shy away from our power, letting everything be as it is and responding to each situation with what is of most immediate benefit. That even means just turning the mic down and clearing the voice. <laughs> you know, so very practical, very natural, very responsive to the moment. And you just see that come about in your life. Very spontaneous responsiveness for the benefit of all. And then really seeing in yourself that everything about yourself is completely okay. And then when we are in a relationship, we have another, a whole lot of data streams just packed into the whole package. Now, I got to know the training. I was already in a relationship. Actually, to date, 10 years married. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> so, but see, I mean, <coughs> it is, um, Probably some of you have already many more years, and some of you maybe maybe are not in a relationship. But what I, so I'm, I can really see the total results from before and after, and everything in between. And um, just seeing, I, I don't even know where to start because it is a complete shift. And you know that is one relationship. 
which I had a complete focus on because I thought, well, that will make me happy. But I mean, at one point you just get really to terms with that one, <laughs> with that belief that, that that's really not the answer. And being introduced to open intelligence in the Four Mainstays was just the greatest gift and, and lover in my life, really, to get to know that love and that expectation that I had for the relationship, the total fulfillment and satisfaction and everything I wanted in the relationship to be found in, in myself, in open intelligence, in every short moment was just incredible. Well, that didn't happen overnight, but seeing now in the last years just that complete shift from focusing on needing something from another person, all these expectations, needing to fix myself, needing to fix the other, and seeing that you can have a relationship, and that's not only an intimate relationship, really a relationship with every human being that is filled with joy and benefit, and especially with yourself. <laughs> that's where it all starts, really, the complete relationship and love with yourself where you can see that everything about you is just perfectly okay and in inexhaustible and powerful and that we have strengths, gifts and talents that we can contribute to the benefit of all and then we can enjoy relationships if it's an intimate relationship, if we choose to have an intimate relationship or not. And then any other relationship we can just completely enjoy and live together in a way that, that allows for empowerment and allows for using our beneficial potency. That's really the only purpose for, for a relationship. And then I saw exactly now really practically because expectations can just still come up, obviously. We have all these expectations with our friends, family, with ourselves, and resting deeply and seeing them as they are, leaving them totally unrejected is the greatest gift you can give yourself and also the relationship. So in that way, my relationship completely shifted from trying to fix the other, the, you know, like daily, mm -hmm. up to a way to just simply, well, couldn't be happier than Ever. It just doesn't matter what the other person does, says, or is. And letting it's not my well-being or my power is not dependent on that. And then the beneficial discernment is inseparable from that. You choose with whom you are together, with whom you enter a relationship. You choose of if you want a relationship. And that's powerful and you can make so much more wise decisions if it's not if by relying on open intelligence and using the four mainstays to see that nothing is needed and choose your lifestyle as you like and it's inseparable from the four mainstays if you're in a relationship or not for me that's my that's just the priority and then it makes every relationship better and then the best also what is just to share that, I mean, it sounds really amazing, but that love that was so tucked into a relationship, an intimate relationship, I can't see that difference anymore with uh, other people. You know, it just opens up that love for oneself and for everyone. So that, that even when we spend large amounts of time not in the same location with my husband, I don't miss anything. Even if, if some a thought would come up, oh, missing him, but it's like a fleeting firework. <laughs> it's like that, and it's, it's incredible. I mean, I never thought that that would be possible. That's such a deep satisfaction and love and just that fulfillment in, in every moment, and then that love with with every being, including yourself. I mean, I can't really 
say that, like how powerful that is. And that doesn't exclude like wanting to spend time with your intimate partner or with anyone you, you, you love to spend time with. So it's a very natural, it's no extreme, like, oh, I have to be all equal and even and not miss. And, you know, like we, we get these ideas of how it has to look like. So, and in that way, all the expectations we have about ourselves, they just open up. And then, of course, all these expectations from anyone else, society or, well, whatever, however we label them, benefit. What is of most benefit? Is, I see that is as, as a guiding question in every decision and moment of life. Extremely powerful, and the Four Mainstays support that totally. Mind, clarity, and all these words. We use specific words because some words have lots of ideas. So that's why we use specific words. And, and, um, but you can put all synonymous. Yet, when there are specific ideas on certain terms, then that's what we see. So in the, the education and the nature of mind has to be a complete education where there's the inseparability from mind, open intelligence, and all data, meaning everything that appears in mind. Now you can have, and of course I, there we could go on also, <laughs> studied mind like years, and you can have all kinds of ideas of what the mind is, but very simple, open intelligence, inseparable from data, and you can put all, all these labels synonymous to the basic space that is just everything as it is. Yet when there are ideas, then it is something. Then it's reified definition. So you want to put always the fundamental definition to all definitions. And then you see clearly. Then you understand also all literature and text that might point or, uh, or um, says being a direct transmission just because you are introduced to the nature of mind and can see it clearly, you can understand. Yet often there are just ideas and concepts laid over where something has to be a certain way mm. for the realization of mind to be obvious. Yet there is no destination and the inseparability of our mind and data is a key point, as you know, in this training. So. The education in the nature of mind, we can be very lucky that the Four Mainstays are such a way and use a language that everybody can understand and cuts through all the ideas that we have and goes into no extremes, so it's, it's very practical.